We're going to do some questions from 3-6, 3-5, solidify your understanding and move on to formulas in 3-7. This is a question you're going to see on the test, so let's go over it. It reads like this, negative 4 times 2x plus 2 equals negative 4 over 4 times x plus 1. Now, to get this problem right, and you will have to do this one on the test, so please practice it, you've got to notice, or it sure helps to notice, that negative 4 over 4 can be simplified. It's a fraction that can be simplified. This negative 4 over 4 is equal to negative 1. If you notice that, your whole life becomes so much easier. You then write it again. Please rewrite it. I know people who see that and then they don't rewrite it and they try to do it in their heads and inevitably they mess it up because the negatives are tricky. You've got to rewrite it. Please, form good habits. Negative 4 times 2x plus 2 equals negative 1 times x plus 1. Now, this question is pretty straightforward, but it's tricky because of the negative. So we're going to get Gabby to go ahead, draw the rainbows, and solve it. Go ahead, Gabby. Okay. Okay. AC distributed. Yep. So it's negative 8x minus 8y plus 2y equals negative x minus 1. Right. Good. We know. Negative x, yeah, if you do the rainbows, you're right. That's right. There you go. That was what I noticed a lot of people got wrong. They forgot that this negative, this is negative 1 times 1. It's negative 1. And this is negative 4 times 2. It's negative 8. You can't afford to forget that now, guys. That, which one is bigger? Big rock, small rock? Steven? Negative 1. What? Bigger. This one's bigger. Right? So do we move this one? No. No. How we move the smaller one. How is that bigger? That is negative, negative 1 is bigger than negative 8. On the number line, right? Negative 1 is closer to 0 than negative 8. So negative 1 is greater than negative 8. Oh, that was your chapter 2 stuff, okay? So negative, you've got to remember that just because the number value, 8 is bigger than 1, but negative 8 is smaller than negative 1. Remember what I said about the drain? How it goes down, water goes down the drain the opposite way in Australia? Yeah. Similar, in the, in the negative world, on the other side of the number line over here, Things operate in the opposite way that they do on the positive side. On the positive side, 8 is greater than 1, right? The water is going down the drain the way we see it. But on the negative side, on the other side or underneath the, you know, the equator, everything's going the other way and negative 1 is greater than negative 8 instead. See what I'm saying? All right, that's just a review. It's good. We're spiraling forward. So keep going, Gabby, but this time we want to, now, we want to move the smaller rock. It's just going to be easier because Dealing with negatives is, pro is hard. So there you go. Add 8x. Good stuff. This is better. Okay, cancels good. So it's negative 8 equals... Oh, sorry. Okay. And then you add 1. You're doing great. And this cancels out. Yep. 6. Negative 7 equals 7x. And then you divide it. Divide by 7. Equals x equals negative 1. Good job. Then put a box around x equals negative 1. Give her a hand. Nice job, Gabby. All right. All right. Sorry, this is 3 oh, 6, and it's number 17 on page 140. You need a magic number. Everybody needs a magic number. Magic numbers are good. Magic numbers help you solve this problem because you'll be able to throw that magic number down as if it were a bowling ball right down the lane, and it will knock out these denominators that make this thing, these infractions. But how do you know what the magic number is? Well, look at your denominators and tell me what it is. Is it going to be Stephen or Pepper? Pepper? 28. 28? But how did you decide 28? I know a few of you heard it. I multiply 7 times 4. Okay, 7 times 4 is 28. I multiply 7 times 4. Zoom in so we see that. Multiply everything by 28, exactly. Okay, guys, that you make sure you move on everything by 28. I, I don't think we're going to. Uh, okay. Okay, can you go around and just look and see? Check people if they got right? So we can't hear anything on camera here, so you, you're okay. going to have to talk about it or I will. You want me to? I, I think you should. Okay, so what Amanda's doing is she's multiplying everything by 28, and she's. The point of doing that is to cancel out the bottom term. So, Tamara, what's 28 divided by 7? Um, 4. Good. 
What's 28 divided by 2? 14, that's yeah. right, you got it. Hey, is that I'm zoomed in? Hey, is it zoomed in? It's zoomed in. Because it's hard to see. There's I know, I already, uh, I already Tamara, did. what's uh, 28 divided by 4? Seven. She's going to do that in a minute. 7, right? Mm -hmm. See how she's replacing that fraction? Mm -hmm. Right? What's 28? Oh, that's nothing. You have to worry about that. And try to line it up so it's not all over the place. Okay. And then she's multiplying, right? 4 times 2x is 8x. 7 times 3x. 21x. Okay, let's stand aside so people can see it. Let's just recap here. Um, you know what, Taylor? 4 times 2x? How did she get this from here? It's going to be the same. Yeah. Plus 14 times 1. 14 x. And then 7 times 3 x. And then plus 28. Is everybody clear on that? Any questions out there? No? All right, so let's move on. Look at there's 3 x terms and only one number term, so you got to do what? You have to combine like terms. Combine like terms. Good. 8x plus 14x, 22x, 22 x equals 21x, 28, good job. Now, which one's bigger? Big rock, little rock? 22. 22's clearly bigger, so don't touch it, leave it. So then you subtract 20. 21x, good, nice job. And x equals, box it, you have this done? It's the same thing if you just do that. Thank you, Amanda. Give her a hand, please. Right now is a 1.04 minus 1.3. You call great, Alex. Good start. Minus 0.62x equals 0.71 minus 0.22x. Good. Multiply by what? By 100. Why so, are we multiplying by 100? Because it moves the decimal spots over. Because right. so it moves the decimal spots over, right? No, no, no. Here. Multiply by 100. Why? Right. Because 100 times 1.03 is 103. We didn't want to deal with fractions before, so we multiplied by a, number, a magic number that got rid of the denominators of the fraction. In a similar way here, we're multiplying by a magic number. Now, the magic number is actually easier to find than decimals. In this case, the magic number is either 10, 100, or 1,000, usually not bigger than that, according to the way, how many decimal points there are the big, for the biggest one in the problem. In this case, 1.03, there are two decimal spots, right, Brian? 0.62x, Gabby, there's two decimal spots. Guyana, 0.71, two decimal spots, right? And 0.22x, um, Alex, there's two decimal <laughs> spots that we've got to move this over. Yeah. So that's why we're multiplying by 100. We're multiplying by 100, so Alex, now go ahead and write the little 100 here. That's gotcha. it. Okay? The little 100. 100 times 103 is 10,000. It, no, it's 103. 1.03 times 100. Okay, go. Put the 100 in there. Okay, just stand on the side and write it again. Uh, there you go. Again, 1.03 times 100 is 103. So go 103. Then minus 62x. Right? Equals. Equals what, Austin? 71. Minus yeah, write this down. Good, now you get it. Now what do we do? Which one's bigger, negative 22 or negative 62? That's smaller. Which one's bigger? Which one is less They're negative? They're negative. Uh, which one's just closer to right. zero? So now which one do you want to move? Small rock. We don't want to move the bigger number. We want to move the smaller number. Add 62x on both sides. Add 62x on both sides. All right, so uh, this one cancels out. Good. So later. <laughs> and then you're left with 103. And you get to that instead of uh, 40. Good. Nice. Back 71. There you go. Good. Good. Oh, never mind. 103 minus 71. Uh, 32. Equals I said 32. 40 positive 40x. Now, divide by 40. Hey, let's give this guy a hand. Nice job. Say hi to the camera.